all right guys so these messages will be for aries so the channel message that i have for you guys aries was overnight success and right before your eyes so something's going to either happen right before your eyes or something could take off right before your eyes or something like that but like i said what i was getting what i would have the message I got, and keep in mind also, I got these downloads yesterday. I was supposed to do re um some more readings yesterday, and um y'all, I just I don't know something about Sunday wanted me to relax. You know, I don't know. I'm just really loving on myself, hard, hardcore. Anyway, Aries, the channel message for you guys was overnight success. Okay, so something could literally happen overnight for you guys. I don't fucking know. Something could happen overnight. All right, um, something that maybe you wanted for your, a business or a um. I don't know something like that you could want something if something's going to change overnight here for you in a successful way okay and the next message with that was like right before your eyes like i don't know this is some miraculous shit this is some like genie like make a wish like you got three wishes like some shit like that like something's happening here okay like i'm getting like the movie aladdin all right and um you know the genie he had these like he had these like rules, but you can't ask questions. You ask questions, he answered yo, those are your wishes, you know. So, um, I don't know. I, I gotta rewatch a lot of matter of fact since I'm channeling that right now, but I'm just getting something so magical, like, you know, your whole life changed. You run into somebody that's like like, you know, royalty. Maybe you are cause in Aladdin, you know, he's like a chosen one, you know. Every Disney movie the main character is a chosen person. I do not care what nobody say. All right, so Aladdin, you know, he had this rough life, but he was still happy. He had his pet monkey. He was broke. Like, you know, he ain't had no money. He had to go steal or finesse every day to eat and stuff like that. And he ended up meeting the Princess Jasmine. And she, like, the princess. Like, she, she's her. She's her. <laughs> okay? You know what I'm saying? And uh, she want him. Out of everybody, she want him. Like, It'll make you think, like, what? That's, like, the brokest nigga. Like, you could have another king of another empire. Or you could have another prince of another empire. Or, you know, somebody that will match your wealth, you know? But she's seen something within him that was very pure. Like, he was chosen. And she, you know, that, that was her person. Like, some of y'all are destined to be royalty. Some of y'all are destined to, you know, have these hidden helpers. Have these people that are stabilized or you know established within life to help get you somewhere to have your own establishment your own stability some of you guys you don't even know there are people with higher ranks or you know higher um authority in certain areas in their lives than you that want to help you and see potential within you something is going to happen overnight here guys when i say this i feel like a lot of you guys are going to receive a lot of support in whatever this is like this is really like hidden helpers i was getting that heavy um with cancer's reading i did that like a couple of days ago um but i'm really getting this okay so a cancer could be significant but i'm getting a heavy energy on hidden helpers and this is like yours okay so do not i don't know i feel like you go you're going to definitely be in the energy of disbelief when this shit starts to happen or it may be even shock or maybe you might not even react like you could be numb or like i like i said disbelief denial that's what it, really what i'm getting for some of you guys i'm like all right like okay when is it gonna end you know and it's not like think like that right but it's like come on because you know it's like you could have been in experiences where all good things came to an end and that's so you could have viewed things like that so a part of your healing was changing your mindset for a lot of things i don't know i just feel like with this coming in it's gonna shock the hell out of you it's gonna shock the hell out of you it's gonna shock the hell out, out of people around you um, and this is destined, like something's going to like be worldwide. Something's going to be worldwide. It's going to be, be people, a lot of people are going to know your name. All right. For something that you do, it could be create creatively. Some of you guys could be like trying to become an actor or something like, a, um, some of you guys could be trying to become a fucking actor. Like, you know, you're, you've been, you're working on this shit or this is a dream of yours. Like you want to be on TV. You want to be in movies. You want to be in TV shows. All right, so that could be something that you're working on for a lot of other you guys. You you want to do music. Like, that's the best way you can express yourself. You gravitate, you pull in the crowd because of what you say in your music. And you, you vibe, you have your own sound, and you have your own, like, reality. And it shows through your sound, okay? A lot of you guys, you're artists. You're getting viewed for your creativity. Like, heavy on the fucking yellow fucking chakra, solar chakra, okay? <laughs> heavy on that, like... Something is coming. Like, it's like a volcano about to burst. All this shit been building up, building up for this peak moment. Like, it's a peak. It's a climax. Like, dead ass. Like, <laughs> something here is, is, is happening. It's time. 
okay so uh and i feel like this has been guarded and protected by your ancestors i feel like you had to go through a series of lessons or a series of events before you stepped into this part of your life okay you had to be you had to be shown you know people's true colors you got to be shown what people feel about you how they think about you what they'll say about you how they will treat you without shit before spirit gave you everything because you would have fucked around and brought the wrong people around you. all right Aries. now let's get a goddess card okay Overnight success right before your eyes. That was a channel message. Overnight success right before your eyes. Overnight success right before your eyes for Aries Spirit. Overnight success right before your eyes for Aries Spirit. Mm. Overnight success right before your eyes for Aries Spirit. That wanted to come out. Change in progress. Some of y'all, you're going to be relocating or you could be moving to a city where, you know, there's more action or something like that. Or you could be, you could be moving out of nowhere, literally. <laughs> I'm telling you, affirmations for acceptance, okay? Hmm. So you could have definitely recently got out some sort of storm here. And it's like, this all this shit was part of your destiny. Whatever trials you went through, part of your destiny because you about to come up. Yeah, you had to go through the hard times first. Yeah, meditation to dig deep. You got to dig deep. Oh, make a move. Whatever. Look, I don't know. Some, like I said, man, something that y'all doing. And if you ain't did it yet, you need to get your ass out there and do it. Because it's like this whole new world right? waiting for your ass. It says, Spirit said, make a damn move. What you waiting for? Do you, How bad do you really want it? You know what I'm saying? Shit, I resonate with that too. I ain't even, I ain't even tripping. Like I, I get that a hundred percent. Spirit telling you to dig deep. What is in the way? Get it up out the way. Dig it up out the way. Get your hands dirty. It's okay. That's what Spirit said. All right, for real. Let's get some of these cards before I get into the tarot. All right, overnight success right before your eyes. Overnight success right before your eyes. Some of y'all are going some fucking weird. I can't make this shit up. And you know what, Aries? I'm not even going to hold you. I've been getting this travel as energy for y'all for a minute. And I'm confused because I guess because I, I, I guess this shit will really be a shock to you because I don't see this coming. Like, it's just like a random card that'd be like, all right, you finna travel. But it's like, okay, elaborate. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Some of y'all traveling somewhere, literally a boat in another boat. Some of y'all going with some goddamn wear. I don't know, man. For real. So, I mean, and, and and this could be a new turn on your journey or some shit. Like like I said, everything is faded. You see that card she reading that says fate. Everything is faded. You got good luck. That, that, that's five and, um, and two. That's seven right there. Say this not seven. Some of y'all, you got good luck. You about to move or something about to change like miraculously in your life. I'm telling you. I'm fucking telling you. Like... <laughs> The sevens, come on now, come on now, you know. Spirit said, make a move and watch, watch you see what the fuck you've been looking for. Show up, All right? Overnight success right before your eyes. You more powerful than you think. You didn't call this shit in. You not gonna believe it. All right, messages for Aries spirit. What messages do you have for Aries? Overnight success right before your eyes for Aries innocent it's because of your soul you know this you know number four can be significant <coughs> <coughs> you knew you had a pure soul you knew you had a pure spirit but guess what people could have tried to frame you and call you all kinds of other shit it's okay what the fuck they got to say don't matter it's about god's judgment and i feel like um he's seen all the shit that people said about you he's seen all the shit you went through and he might bless you for having such a pure spirit for being innocent and not being spiteful, not being bitter, not being fucking hateful. Messages you have for Aries overnight success. What messages do you have for Aries overnight success? Links. It's in your DNA. <laughs> it's because of who you are. It's because of who you are. Now, didn't I not just fucking say? Was I not going off in this shit, Thomas? Let me y'all like royalty. <laughs> Did I not just give y'all an example of motherfucker Aladdin? And Jasmine is royalty as hell. It's in your DNA. 
like I said, um, Aladdin asked, he was in the gutter. Okay? Like, rags. He was fucking with rags. And he ended up with riches. Like, a whole prince, a king, whatever. He 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 married the princess, I think. I don't know, y'all. I don't know the movie. Shit, I gotta watch it back. But if I'm wrong, correct me. <laughs> if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, girl. But in my fairy tale, I'm supposing that he got with her. He married her. And became royalty, too, right? I mean, I felt like Aladdin was royalty from jump. The nigga could talk to the monkey. <laughs> Who the fuck can talk to animals like that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he talking care of that street monkey just like it's his child. Like, of course he finna get blessed. All right, so, so for a lot of y'all, like I said, it's in your DNA. I said this in a little rant I had when I, um, my, my ancestors woke me up that night. They told me to, um, your power in your DNA, right? So there's something about an innocence of purity to you. you. Maybe you have gifts and abilities and you ain't do shit wrong with them. You ain't do nothing wrong with them. Um... You didn't abuse your gifts, okay? You could have. You are very powerful. You could have some very powerful gifts. And you know what you're capable of with them. But you continue to be genuine. You continue to, you know, get out and put out the energy that you want back. Um, and so you're getting blessed from your ancestors because of this. Um, look at this. This is that, this uh, pink, hot pink color is like the, um, I think it's like the seventh chakra. I think it's like this color. I don't know. I got to double check. But, um, yeah, bro higher connection like high dimension something like that okay i'm also getting something about ex e extraterrestrial i would just put that out there some of y'all could really be um look man shit wild woman car came out this is the person with the free spirit free mind open heart open box <laughs> look i know and i'm open to everything like i don't believe nothing is just black and white i feel like there's a fucking whole ray of colors in between this is you okay um so like i said i don't know shit because i said some of y'all you're talking like aladdin he was talking to the damn monkey so some of y'all could be connecting with outer beings i'm telling you because enhanced awareness you got some gifts man you sure do all right but i feel like your gifts is what's going to bring you into the spotlight here you got to stay in alignment here okay some of you guys can be 37 or number 37 significant shit number 13 is significant i love number 13 i don't know why Number three is my favorite number, but number 13, I love this number. It makes four, all right? And four is a very special number in my life also. All right, so good omens is coming to you. This is for Aries spirit. I gotta wrap this up. I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, okay, we have the devil, caretaker, petty tyrant. So somebody could be trying to... um overwhelm you with like spiritual attacks or some shit yeah this is the enemy because the allies was in reverse and i'm gonna take these cards in reverse and then dreamer was in reverse so i feel like this person is definitely somebody that is like um trying to astral project trying to bind you i keep getting somebody trying to bind somebody here with the slave card this is the devil card which talks about binds cords fucking lines connections and shit like you know and you don't want this with this person like girl i suffer the head get the fuck away from me but no nah, the head still got strings tied to it like motherfuckers not letting this shit die <laughs> somebody is like trying to control your shit like yeah somebody could be 25 years old somebody could be jealous of you jealous of your figure or you know that you're in the spotlight here or something like that because you got big dreams and you know your dreams are protected you could be a very protected person period and somebody ain't know that about you. They could have doubted that shit. They ass learned the lesson, petty tyrants. They ass learned the lesson. Somebody's very stubborn too, bull headed or hard headed. Somebody could have a big forehead. I'm just saying. I just, I'm just saying because I'm getting that with this card. Something about somebody's forehead could be big. Like, I don't know. Something about somebody's forehead. Somebody could be hard headed. <laughs> yeah, this person targeted you. So they finna um they finna get their karma. You will wear this. Somebody targeted you because you're a goddess. And you help people in this world. Alright? And you also getting protected. Somebody's jealous that you have ancestors that protect you. Like somebody's jealous that they cannot get to you. You're literally protected. You have like a bubble around you. Look, the wheel card. Long like a bubble. You got like a bubble around you, literally. Wow woman. Bubble around you. You're protected, bro. I'm telling you. Look at this aura on her. Protected. You in alignment. You about to get some type of good karma here. Period. Cause you stepped into your high, your high, like your higher awareness. You stepped into the 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 higher realm. You didn't stay stuck. Like you kept evolving. You free yourself from something here. You sure do. 
Whatever somebody was trying to do is over. Look, man, I see the trickster card and the death card in here, bro. Somebody's trying to silence you. I see the silence card here. Somebody was trying to silence you. Um, what the fuck? With some sort of like magic ending your journey here. Because I see the death card with the quest. Somebody could try to take you off your path. Look, and didn't I say something about fucking extraterrestrials? You were being protected by all kinds of beings. Somebody wished this shit on you. This shit, they about to have a fall, a great fall. That could lead to somewhere else, man. Look. Because, like, some people work together here. Somebody, look, something not going to end well for somebody here, Aries. Whoever was seeking to betray you or, um, girl, cast you out, something like that. Because I've seen the orphan card in here. So I'm about to try to um, do something intentionally malice with malice. And this shit about to backfire, bro. All right. Overnight success. Right before your eyes for Aries spirit. Overnight success right before your eyes for Aries. Overnight success right before your eyes for Aries spirit. Hmm. Overnight success right before your eyes for Aries. Alright, we got the Ace of Wands here. The Ace of Pentacles. Oh shit, you gotta have a new beginning in, in, in your career, in finances, okay? There's some somebody offering you a new opportunity here that's gonna take you to extreme levels, okay? This is a miracle. This is a miracle. Like, uh, I heard once in a lifetime. So somebody's getting like a once in a lifetime opportunity here presented to them. Hmm. Five of Pentacles came out here. I'm going to clarify that. Don't worry. <clears throat> what do you have for Aries Spirit? Six of Swords. Huh. What else do you have for Aries Spirit? Three of Swords. What the fuck? Two of Wands. King of Pentacles. <laughs> this shit crazy. Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. <laughs> this shit crazy, bro. I see a clear ass story, and I'm finna get real juicy and tell y'all about this shit right here. Yeah, look. This shit is crazy. One more card, Spirit. Yeah, look, because I'm not fucking. Look, they waiting for me to talk. All right, Spirit, I got you. So look, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles here, okay? So you get some sort of new beginning, new opportunity, but there's somebody from the past that left you out in the cold here with this Five of Pentacles. Somebody left you out in the cold. Um, they could have wished some real harmful shit on you here. They wanted you to lack some type of way here financially. This is why you get a new opportunity in finances here with this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Pentacles because somebody wanted you to have no pentacles. So God said, I'm going to give you a big one that outshine all the pentacles. How about that? Yeah. So God gives you something here, a special opportunity. Somebody tried to leave you out in the cold and uh, move or something, move, move or something with a secret lover, a secret baby, something about a secret lover, secret baby here. These people could be experiencing um, hardships together now as a form of karma for betraying you. Okay. Somebody could, I'm definitely getting the energy of a secret child here. With a um, with a different race, I'm seeing like a a, a lighter tone baby here, something like that. Somebody has a secret child here with a with like a, a bi like there's a biracial um situation going on here. Look, so we have the three of swords. 
So somebody betrayed you here. I feel like, uh, now look, I don't know why. There could be two people that work together here. Somebody's trying to get away from something here. Okay, after betraying you here. Because some these people, they see you from a distance. Having everything that you envisioned for yourself, having everything that you spoke into existence, is showing up in your reality. You're literally bossing the fuck up before people's eyes. Regardless if you're a feminine or a masculine, you are the king of pentacles right now, okay? This is a past partner or a partner that, that you were dealing with here, the two of cups, that wants to come back and reconcile with you. But like I said with the queen of swords, you're cutting this energy out. You're cutting this energy away from around you because there's too many blessings around you and too much shit you're working on that you have to focus on because it's going to blow you up. It's going to make you big. All right, whatever this is, you've been investing in it for a long time. For a lot of you guys, you've been investing in something for eight years, five years, three years, 10 years. The fuck? I know my ass been working since I was 15 on some shit nobody told me shit how to do. I figured it out on my own. So a lot of a lot of people don't fuck with me, especially blood. A lot of blood don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Because God spoiled me. God chose me, period. <laughs> but guess what? I was the black sheep. So that's why God came in and made sure I was over. I was overly showered with love and abundance and acceptance by him. Because he's seen how I was treated in real life. So for a lot of you guys, you cut a lot of people the fuck out. That you had a lot of love for. These don't even have to be partners that you were in relationships with. These would be people you had love for. You're cutting their ass out and focusing on your coin and pinnacle. Because it's like you had all, uh, so much to give and they didn't want it. <laughs> so you finna give all this energy. You finna pour it all in, into you and it's gonna take you somewhere. And say anything that I said is a lie, it's not. Spirit gave me the gift to speak the truth. I'm going to fucking speak it. Somebody did your ass dead ass wrong and you're finna get justice. And your justice is going to show up physically in the form of finances and opportunities. Okay? Shit. When is people going to realize to not fuck with the Aries? If you are imbalanced Aries, go ahead and ground yourself, bro. You way too powerful to be off the fucking racks and off the rail like that. Go ahead and balance yourself so you can fucking empower yourself. But for the most motherfucking part... You're very aware of who you are. You stand in your truth and you love that shit. You're confident and you go after what the fuck it is you want in life. You're a go-getter. With hella integrity, you're a protector, a provider, regardless if you're a female or a male. That's just in your energy because you're a giver. You're an emperor. You're used to having more, so you give. It's time for you to receive. And that's what the fuck is happening. Success overnight before your eyes for every spirit. People are going to start to realize the truth about you because your work is going to start to show for itself. We have here the page of swords in reverse. Somebody was trying to speak bad on you here. And like I said, the truth is going to speak for itself. Somebody don't want you to come out and say the truth. Also, somebody been trying to silence you. Wow. Oh, you see how spirit did that full motherfucking circle, y'all? Page of swords in reverse with the queen of swords. With the goddamn ace of swords. Somebody did not want you to speak the truth. Queen of swords, eight of pentacles, ace of swords. They didn't want you to speak the truth. About you really being a hard worker. About how you was giving. And somebody wanted to shut you up. So somebody tried to slander you or bully you or something. So you won't say something. This shit coming out. <laughs> This shit coming out. And motherfuckers get karma on top of that. The star card in reverse. Yeah, somebody didn't want you to heal. It's like they didn't want you to move forward in life. They wanted you to be stuck. And they didn't want you to be connected to spirit. This could be um, a toxic Aquarius. Okay, for some of you guys, it could be an Aquarius. That you're dealing with that's, that is significant. Or something about this season significant. Like, I feel like something about to come to light. <laughs> the page of swords in reverse and the star card in reverse. Whoever has been lying on somebody, the truth is about to come out. I'm going to just go ahead and say that. Because somebody, it's like almost like somebody tried to defame somebody or fuck up somebody's reputation here with the star card in reverse. The truth about to come out. That's part of karma. The truth can come out if somebody has been lying. Because <laughs> they has hurt, unhealed, and insecure. That's what this is. I'm telling you. Fuck me in and fuck me in and back. I need a gangster. Yeah, I don't know. That Kung Fu and Ocean. 
or kung fu yeah them them girls they getting in the rap um industry and the song that they um they music good now it's real like sexual and provocative and stuff but i don't care like they coming out they coming hard you know for what they want like they was working on that shit at the end of last year and now they on the stage just performing like coming to people's shows performing and shit and they shit bump like you know it's sex talk but what female music ain't nowadays but that's it hard like okay they got that energy you know so a lot of you guys you're gonna meet your duo you're gonna meet your duo and y'all gonna make hella money together all right like i said a lot of y'all about to start meeting your soul friends soul tribe soul family you about to make bank with somebody here yeah some you gifted here you gifted and your gifts is gonna bring you abundance but like i said for some in the beginning i was telling somebody's creative and you about to get recognized for this shit your energy about to get recognized because it's like you have been slept on period <laughs> you've been slept on babe you better wake these hoes up you about to wake some motherfuckers up. A loud ass rooster, a loud ass alarm clock. Cock a doo 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 ho. Rise and shine, bitch. I'm, not, I'm in the spotlight today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's you. That's your energy. They like, where the fuck you get all this strength from? I told you, you got power. I'm so, I'm so, um, what he said? I'm so, I got power. I'm so, I'm so groovy. <laughs> I got power. That's the future song. I'm so groovy. I got power. That's your bitch. I just bought him. Oh, that's your bitch. I just bought her. This is you taming somebody wild ass. You got so you you will humble somebody quick. Plain Jane. Mm hmm. You could be a plain Jane. You don't do too much. You fine as hell. Regular. But you know how to get dressed up. You groovy, you got power, you different, you unique, and you finna get recognized for this shit. Like, I'm telling you, you see the different colors in the rainbow? Unique. You see all these different people in their family? Unique. Like, you not trying to be what society wants you to be. You being you. Yeah, you like what you do. Yeah. So, I feel like you finna get your own wave here. Yeah. There's people that you not communicating to that you blocked and protected yourself off from. You're untouchable right now. You you claimed your power and energy back to you. Now you're untouchable. These people are speechless because they are realizing they are blocked. The seven of wands and the two of swords, damn. Yeah, they know it. That's a fact. That's a fucking fact. All right. Messages for Airy Spirit. Some of y'all moving. I don't know what the fuck going on. I don't know where you're moving to. I don't know. Where, I, I, I don't know. But you're going somewhere. Somebody, something specific about a damn boat. That's that's three boats on top of the two boats. <laughs> Somebody going somewhere, all right? Five of Wands. And these people trying to get in your way. It's a group of people trying to get in your way. They're talking about you. They're in the group chat here. There's people in the group chat that's talking about you. And they're being sneaky about it. Like, they're trying to be so fake. Like, they all have good intentions, but they know what they're doing. They're trying to sabotage your ass. These people in the group chat, they work together, they see together, they see each other kind of often, whatever, whatever the fuck this is, um, they're planning something here in the distant horizon. Um, because they are realizing that you were blocked off, so they mad and jealous, and they could be trying to get some sort of sort of revenge on you or try to take your ass down. And I don't feel like it's gonna work at all. They about to get stopped right in their goddamn tracks. And you know it's so sad because like people don't learn their lessons. Yeah, it's because they're jealous of you here. But the five of wands with the five of swords coming out right after that, these people are jealous, they very envious. Because they do not have content to you. They don't know what you got going on. They ain't blocked or stopped nothing. They really tried to block or stop something here with the two of swords and seven of wands. And it didn't happen. It still showed up three of wands. It still came in. Whatever this is. For a lot of y'all, this simply got to do with your fate and destiny. Because that card came out in the beginning. Okay? So, you know, it is what it is. These people work together to try to stop you out of jealousy, out of envy. They thought it was funny. They thought it was cute. They, they liked it at first. They they losing their mind now because it's not working. Oh, and if it's not working, where it's going? Back to you, bitch. Yeah, right back to your front door. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right back there. Right next to you. Well, Justin Bieber said, your shit coming to, to sit right next to your ass. It ain't coming over here, bitch. It ain't welcome. What the hell wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, the fuck? They cannot get their mind right. Because, like, why are you at peace? Why are you sitting pretty? Why are you stable? Like, this is not what I wanted from you. Bitch, you don't run my destiny. Stop playing God. It's shocking people. Because how you come up like this? And why are you so happy? And why are you so healed? Where is this peace coming from? You got a lover? Half y'all don't even got no damn lover. You're loving on yourself. Your lover is you. <laughs> they don't know what to do. 
They don't know what to think because they don't know shit about you. A lot of you giving mysterious energy. <laughs> for real, for real. They don't know what's going on with you. So they assuming shit. But the, the assumptions ain't making sense either because what they assuming, they want to assume some bad shit and ain't shit bad happening. It's just straight blessings and they shocked. Why? Because you're kicking motherfuckers out your life and that's when your blessings come to fuck in. You realize this about people too. They are like, you about to fuck up a family. Somebody, a whole family about to be fucked up because your ass shaking shit up, okay? And and for a lot of y'all, a whole workplace about to be fucked up because you shaking shit up. A lot of y'all, it's the neighborhood. Like, man, I'm telling you. Like, somebody, I don't know. Somebody put their foot down. <laughs> the strength card coming out. It's like, bitch, I'll bite your motherfucking head off right now. Play with me again. I don't know. It's like you got serious about yourself. Not saying you won't never serious about yourself, but you could have been too nice, too kind. But now you like, bitch, I'll, I'll eat you and go and, and walk forward with a full belly. Yeah, please leave me the fuck alone. You don't want these problems. This is you. But but keep in mind, you saying this with a smile on your face. Look at her. She's very humble. I'm going to humble your dumb ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look. <laughs> All right, somebody want to come in and offer you something. Want to work together with you here. I don't feel like you're interested. Yeah, you're not finna work together with this person because they are um, deceptive. Seven of Swords. You already know this. This could be the person who had you by the They shocked that you know that it's them. Bitch, you're not slow. Like, <laughs> hey, bitch, are you stupid? <laughs> Somebody tried to do something and it's like, are you stupid? Somebody was doing something. They wanted to wait and see if you'll find out. For a lot of y'all, y'all caught their ass out. For some sort of work they was doing on you here also. Somebody could have been doing work on you here because I'm seeing this Eight of Pentacles with the wild woman in the background. The wild woman talk about doing wild shit. She don't give a fuck. And she into the um, the arts, bitch. So, yeah. Um, somebody could have been doing work on you. You spoke the truth about this shit. And they was waiting to see if it was going to happen. You spoke up, girl. They shit in their parents. Because, oh shit, you know? Oh shit, I'm finna. Yep, you are. Somebody could have been playing with something. They ain't understand. Somebody's getting karma. I with the deck. Um, the fucking Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's getting karma. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. And you moving up <clears throat> in status or something like fast as fuck, okay? Because the, the emperor and the chariot came out, all right? Something for you taking off fast as a motherfucker. <clears throat> and I just feel like you got a lot of people watching. You got a lot of people watching from all over, bro. Like, that don't like you. You got ex-lovers watching you. You got lovers that do want to fuck with you watching you. Some of y'all, your mother's watching you, for sure. The empress and then the queen of cups. Damn. Um, yeah, damn. Look, I just saw it. Somebody's watching you. And somebody talking about what you got going on. So somebody could be like spying and then they're going back to the family to tell the family what you got going on. Somebody wants to wants you to ask for a handout just so they could uh, give you a little bit of money just so they could hold back from you. Somebody wants to play games with you here. And they think that you're not aware of this shit. But everything's going to backfire. You're going to have stability. You're going to have a relationship. You're going to have love. You're going to have that house that you want. And this is all some shit you wish for. And you're going to have it all by yourself. And I feel like every good news that you get, you're going to keep to yourself. You're not telling them shit. You realize who your enemies are. You realize who your ops are. You realize what game they playing. And you play it better. <laughs> you play it the fuck better. Now, don't forget who the fuck I am. Let me remind you, bitch. This is my motherfucking world. This is what you say. <laughs> You done stepped into my motherfucking reality. You done stepped into my empire, my dynasty, and you think I don't know what the fuck going on out here? You better carry your ass back over them hills and valleys to your motherfucking land before I banish you from mine. This <laughs> Look, man. I'm telling you. I'm getting the vibes. You better go ahead while you still getting worn. Sorry, y'all. My candle had got on my cards the other day I was, um... I was manifesting pretty much uh, and the candle it, it it worked extremely good and it got on my cards and the ones that are stained is really good cards so i feel like it's coming to me <laughs> period anyway so yeah you walked away from these people and guess what spirit blessed you with just justice babe justice okay justice you could have called in justice 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 i need justice this is some bullshit <laughs> it's coming in they heard you they answering your prayer show liz okay and something will be ended something is over it's officially over. And these people, they realize that now and they are sad. Because they just wouldn't stop. That's the sad part. You know what's really sad? Y'all wouldn't fucking stop. You wouldn't let me be great. 
and I never tried to make you hoes horrible. That's the sad part. But you know what? You will still receive this victory, this fulfillment, all of these options of fucking luxury, success, and wealth in your favor in the fucking end. It ain't no worries. Everything still worked out for you, babe. You deserve this shit, okay? Don't let nobody else convince you otherwise. So those are the messages that I have for you, Aries. You have new love coming in. There's a new lover coming in. He coming in right towards you. He want a victory with you. You're about to receive some sort of big recognition, victory, leadership position, or being viewed as a leader um, coming in within the next two weeks or a month, okay? Uh, this shit could be actually happening faster than that because, like I said, the channel message was overnight success right before your eyes, okay? You're going to have a lot of options and a lot of fucking money to do and choose whatever the fuck you want, okay? So, you're going to be real powerful, Aries. And I feel like they chose the right person to give power because you went without for so long, okay? And you was giving away your power for so long. And it's like, with all the power that you called back to yourself, you ain't abused nobody with that shit. You focused on yourself and loved on yourself. And that's why you finna get blessed. All right, so those are the messages I got for you, Aries. Love y'all to pieces. Like, comment, subscribe. You can book a person through my channel description. And whatever else you need to do or know is up in there. I'll be back with another one soon. I hope you had a good weekend. Have a great day. Talk to me out.